Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we're going to be using this sketch here. It's probably one of my favorites. It's when I have a brand new collection or paper pad, I like using it because you have such a large section of pattern paper. I decided to work on or use this. Um, I'd rather be crafting six by six paper pad. I've cut two sheets of paper and we're going to make two cards. I'm showing you guys really from the beginning how I figure this out. Okay, so I know that on my A2 size card, I want a base that's going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Okay, so that's what we're going to cut first. I already have my cards pre cut and uh, scored so that they're ready to go. And then we're going to cut our individual pieces. So when I'm trying to figure out for my sketch videos, like what I'm going to do, um, I'll size it according to um, what's on the sketch itself. And then I try and figure out, okay, well, I'm doing an eighth of an inch border. What does that resize to? So the bottom half is one and a quarter by, I want to say it's, she was doing the four and a quarter. Okay. But I'm doing the eighth of an inch. So I had to cut my piece down to four inches. So that way I would have a little bit of a border around the bottom three sides of that bottom piece. And so for the top half, I knew I had to make it also four inches width wise, but I had to just kind of calculate what the bottom subtract the one and a quarter which is that little piece we cut and figure out what the top size was and I knew if I wanted it to be five and a quarter if I already have one and a quarter I just have to add four more inches and that's how I got the measurement for the top and for this one that's pretty much it the only other thing if you wanted to you could put a border on the um, sort of like the sentiment piece that I'm going to wind up putting on top. You don't have to, but if you um, want it to, it's two by three inches. So just add an eighth of an inch. So it'd be two and an eighth by three and an eighth for your mat. So once I get this fitted, I'm going to grab some of the love from, yeah, love from Lizzie um, peel offs. I got a brown set. It's like a brown foil. So I'm going to lay that down across where the papers meet. I like do using her peel-offs for that because it just finishes it off. And then I save all the little bits because you never know when you can use them again. And then we're going to attach it to our card front. And finish building up from there. We're going to, since I'm doing the two cards at one time. Normally I do the one off camera, make sure I like how everything turns out, and then show you guys the, my version of it <laughs> on the video. But I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and share really how I kind of figure it out. So there's that strip, and I'm cutting this uh, glitter paper at a quarter of an inch, and then trimming it down to four and an eighth. And the four and an eighth means it goes from the matte paper to the matte paper. Um, if I wanted it to go the length of the pattern paper, I would have just done four inches. But I did that eighth of an inch so it would cover the whole thing without hitting the white card. And then we're going to do the same thing with this piece. Remember that you can see I'm using the um, score tape the little um, Tombow, use the wet glue to give yourself time to be able to move things around, okay? Sometimes, and I think, no. On this one, I'm able to still kind of slide it and move it around, but when I go to put this on my car front, I get it a little wonky, and with the wet glue, it allowed me to be able to uh, really peel it off and then put it down where exactly I want it. And then once I'm done with the peel offs, I'm going to fold, crease and fold and 
get this on top and you'll see here <coughs> after I add the wet glue and I go to put my card front down it's just a little bit wonky and I'm going to tear it up here or pull it up I should say and no issues it didn't take any of the paper and I was able to re put it down and get it lined up I'm telling you guys if you're not doing it you need to okay <laughs> It really does help. It really does. I've saved many of a card using the um, tape runner and the wet glue. So the sentiment itself I got from Penny Black. And it is part of their treasured sentiments. Um, and this sentiment actually says... Friends like you are one of life's great treasures. And I'm trying to line it up and I was going to trim it down. And I'm using the um, VersaClair Nocturnal Ink. The one I stamped, it was completely crooked. So that's why I turned the paper over. That's the miracle of white paper. If you mess up on one side, turn it over and stamp it again. Um, but I realized while I was... Um, sitting here in the room and I'm stamping I'm like why do I have to make this a rectangle is there anything that says it has to be a rectangle hmm so next to me in one of my um, storage containers I'm trying to dry the nocturnal ink because um, I didn't want to smear it I'm seeing I have my circle die cuts and what I like to do is whenever I bring out my die cut machine I always cut extra and I was like I have a brown and I have a white that's the same size and this sentiment fits perfectly and I don't have to trim anything and the circle is the sentiment and I'm like oh yes love it let me go up in here and find that white one and stamp again okay I threw the other two out it's okay I was using scraps anyway and boom we're done love it so I didn't like the white on that one because it, the pattern paper is a little it could be thought busy because the top and then the buttons on the bottoms so I was like oh you know what I'm gonna use some foam tape or little foam squares these things are so tiny I was like I don't have time so I'm grabbing my <laughs> big foam tape and I'm gonna put um, pieces of it around and since I had the other two uh, pieces down. I'm just going to try and move them into the center and take my backing off and then and sometimes when I'm doing like the test one off camera what I'll do is like I may leave it flat on one and then pop the other one up during the video but on this one I was like you know what I'm popping them both up but instead of using those little ones on the on the white circle, I'm just going to use two pieces of the foam tape and call it a day. All right, and then we're gonna put that down. And then there's your cards, right? Now, um, I was thinking about off camera, um, or while I was on camera, I'm saving those little bits, even though they have the little holes in them. Um, I'm going to save them because you can always trim it down and use it as a strip for something. Um, so I'm going to leave that in there. And then I'm going to use some enamel dots. On my desk right now, all I have is white and black, I think. And, oh, I had a gold, like a gold glitter. It kind of dries clear. But I'm going to wind up finding my brown. And in the final photos, you'll see the three dots done in the brown uh, nuco drops. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And definitely um, leave comments down below. I love reading your comments and I really do try to respond to everybody. If I don't within the same day, I definitely respond to you um, as soon as I can. And I'm just really appreciative of all of you. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't party too hard and practice social distancing. If you can. All right. <laughs> Have a good one, you guys.